Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will tell you Happy New Year because it's our first video for the year. Hey, why are you wasting time? Hit the subscribe button. Do you know what? It's completely free to subscribe and like this video. So please like this video as we explore this new world of the metaverse. Starter is no longer news that Facebook have changed their name from Facebook that we all know to Meta. Meta. What's that? Like, what's Meta? Who cares about Meta? All we care is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. In this video, I'll be taking you through the metaverse, what the metaverse is, and the best stocks and cryptocurrencies that you can invest in so that you maximize this new world called metaverse. The metaverse has so much future. It has a lot to offer us that a social media giant like Facebook has to change their name in order to get attached, affiliated to meta, the metaverse. What the metaverse? I'm sure that you've played game in the past or have watched a game. It can be a football game, Infinity, Minecraft. There are all sorts of games that people play in our world. In fact, over 3 billion people play game on a yearly basis. And the market industry for gaming is more than $200 billion. For you to know that gaming has come to stay. When we talk about the metaverse, we are referring to a virtual 3D world. Yes, you can see. I'm trying to depict the 3D world. If you look into this item that I'm holding, you can see through. Imagine that human being living inside it, or items living inside it. They walk, they play, they dance, they go to school, they eat their food, all inside this prism that I'm holding. So instead of we living our world the way we are living it, everybody's living inside this prism. This is where you eat, you go to school, you sit down, you play with your friends, you gist, you go on social media. Your world all revolves inside this prism. The same thing happens for the metaverse. Just that in the metaverse, it's not a prism. It's a virtual world and it's taken to be an extension of the internet. For the internet, we mostly do with text, photos, videos, images. Most of them are in 2D or deal with facing a screen. In the 3D dimension, we want to be inside the internet. We don't longer want to be typing what is a now. No, we want to be in mass fully. We want to have a presence. And that's what we call the metaverse. The word meta means change or something beyond. So the metaverse is taken to be an extension of our universe, a virtual extension of our world. It was started as a way for people to escape the real world into a virtual world that they can do whatever they want to do. It's mostly employed by games. That's why I started this video by talking about games that you played or you know about, like Roblox, Minecraft, Gamecraft, and all kinds of craft. We want to do everything that we are doing in the physical world. If you can dance in the physical world, we want to also be able to dance in the metaverse. If you can move your finger, if you can write, go to school, do an assignment, check your phone, Anything you can do in the physical world, we want to be able to replicate it in this new world called the metaverse. And since we cannot enter the metaverse, we will use something that represents us called avatars, 3D living avatars, to represent us in this virtual world called metaverse. Why do we need to enter this new world? Is it not fun for you to transcend to a new world? People that play games <laughs> will tell you that it makes them happy, it gives them joy watching their main player display and kill the losers and kill other people in the game. So if you cannot go to Harvard, you can enter this virtual world and go to the Harvard in the virtual world. If you cannot be able to sing very well, in this metaverse, you don't have any constriction. So in the metaverse, you can make yourself to be the best singer like Beyonce. So what can you not do in a physical world? Go to the metaverse and be the real you. It's as if you are creating who you want yourself to be. Is that not an interesting word? So, they're already work in progress. They're already being done 
in this metaverse industry in order for us to experience the fullness of this virtual 3D world in such a way we can go to office, we can walk, we can dance, anything will be possible there. But as of now, most new work are done in cryptocurrencies. Since in games, we already use avatar to represent people and what can be done. So by playing games, games will be the first introduction that most people will have towards this new world called the metaverse. In fact, Facebook is selling their VR Oculus Quest 2 for 400 pounds. Can you imagine that? Just to give you an idea of what the metaverse is. The VR that Facebook is selling was the most popular Christmas gift in 2021 because people are buying it to have a taste, to have an experience into this new world called the metaverse. There are a lot of interesting projects when it comes to the metaverse, but the first of them is called Decentraland. Yes, decentralized land. It means a land that's in virtual space. But instead of just being in virtual space, this land is sitting on a platform called the blockchain, which means it is decentralized. So just imagine the way we have land living on earth. What do we do with our land? We farm, we build schools, we build houses, we build roads. The same thing works for decentral land. In decentral land, you can buy any plot of land that you want. Each plot of land is 16 meter by 16 meter, which is 256 meter square. And you can buy it for as low as $10,000 and as high as $10 million. And in this virtual land, you can do whatever you want to do with it. It's your land once you purchase it. So you can choose to make it like a shopping center or you can choose to make it like a fighting center. <laughs> what do you want to do with your own? It's available for you in the central land. So people are buying these lands and the cost is limited to about 90,601 plots. The price of each plot is rising because it's limited to just about 90,000. So people are hurrying to buy their own virtual land and build and display whatever they want to display on the land. So if you have a land in the virtual space, what would you like to display? Tell me in the comment section of this video. Yes, the second one is the sandbox. If you are a gamer, oh, I wish I'm a gamer, but it's too late to cry. You might have heard of about the, the sandbox. Yes, the sandbox is a mobile game that people play from mobile to PC, from PC to Android. It's a popular game in the gaming industry. But what they choose to do now, instead of just playing normal 2D games, they chose to push the boundary to make it a 3D game. Now, it's no longer a 3D game because in 2018, they pushed the boundary to list the game on the blockchain. So, instead of the game now trying to run on the company operating system, it's now running on a blockchain. What's a blockchain? A blockchain is a chain of block. It's a platform that allows apps to be built on it in such a way that the security of that app is the best in the world. So, the sandbox is similar to our first experience, which is the central land. In the case of the sandbox, you can build your game. You can build the clothes that you want for your avatars. So, when you buy a land in the sandbox, you can build any kind of game you want to display on your own land. In fact, you can even buy more than one plot of land, which is called an estate. And if estate has the same theme, it becomes a district. So that we have like a shopping district, a football district, an office district like New York, Manhattan, and several other districts for similar to what we have in our modern world. In the sandbox, we have more land. We have about 166,000 plots of land that you can buy today to build whatever game or whatever art you want to showcase. So once you buy the land, you can showcase whatever you want. Although you're not just showcasing like your pen, you're showcasing like a token of your pen. The sandbox gives you the tools to build whatever you want to build. Do you want to build a game? Build it on your land. Do you want to build a cap for avatars? Build it on your land. If you are into clothes, build it on your land. So they give you the tips. You can edit the voxels to 
construct whatever game or whatever tools you want to do, like a shopping center or a restaurant. When people pass through your land, they pay you some tax. Is that not interesting? And also, if people come to your restaurant to eat food, of course, they won't just eat and go. They will pay you some money for eating your food. Avatars need food too. Don't you think so? That is what the sandbox represents. It's a virtual land that people play games, that you can do whatever you want to do, just like in the central land. And the people are playing the games and making passive income because in the sandbox, you can create something and sell it as an NFT. And when people buy it, of course, they send some money to your bank account. You see, gaming now is a way of that people are making a lot of money in our modern world. And another one that is giving a lot of money to people and even the most popular is Asia Infinity. Yes, Axia, Axia, Isa, whatever you choose to call it, add infinity to it. And you know that people are making money infinitely. How are they doing it? It's just a game that where you have two exes playing together or mating together to produce an offspring. And by that, you can sell the offspring and make money. Aza Infinity is also another game that people are playing online and it's resident on a blockchain. What makes these games I'm mentioning different from other games that you know is that these games are resident on a blockchain and most of them are resident on Ethereum blockchain or the side chains of Ethereum like Polygon. By playing this game, if you win, you are given some tokens and those tokens you can sell it in NFT marketplaces for real cash. So it's a new phenomenon called play to earn game five. Game five just involves the synchronization of gaming and finance. So as you play game, you'll be paid for playing game. Of course, it's when you win, nobody pay a loser. You don't only have to win in order to get money. Also, you can design some tokens, some special and unique objects in your gaming that you can sell to other people, which they will buy from you and you sell in this virtual world. Take note, everything I'm talking about is happening in a virtual world except the marketplaces where you people spend real money to buy these items from you. Even though most of the examples I've talked about deals with the gaming industry. The metaverse is not only about gaming, also deals with banking, with real estate, with several other things you can imagine in our world. That's why big companies like Facebook, otherwise called Meta, Apple, Google, Microsoft, are jumping into it. All these big tech companies are jumping into the metaverse, trying to create an environment where we can work. So instead of working from home and not seeing your manager in the metaverse, your manager's avatar and your own avatar will be there seeing each other. <laughs> so you can no longer run away from your manager. But it also offers privacy and security in such a way that you can choose who enters your space and who does not enter your space. You can have a house with swimming pool. Anything you want in the metaverse that already exists in the modern world, you can have it there. So that's why Apple, Facebook, and all these big tech companies are developing a lot of things so that they will make the metaverse to be a replica of a modern world. Is that not exciting? The bitter truth is that the metaverse is still a work under construction. It's not fully built. But the good news is that we have the basic tools to construct this metaverse. So if you want to visit China, but you don't want to go through the road, you just wear your VR and boom, 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 just click. Your avatar will go to China and I'll be showing you the Great Wall of China and everything in China. Also, if you want to visit the Eiffel Tower in France, you don't have to pay for visa, do this and do that. Your avatar will just go and you will be seeing it relaxing, drinking juice in your house, and you'll be seeing the Apple Tower live and direct. The Metaverse has a lot to offer us, and we're already using a part of it. If you want to buy like a TV on Amazon, you don't have to buy the TV in your house to see how it will look. Just click on the VR or the AR on Amazon, and it will show you how the TV will look in the wall of your house. Also, if you want to view real estate, you don't have to go there and be viewing, hey, I like this one, I don't like this one. With VR, you can know how the rooms look like. All these things are what we are hoping for to achieve in this world of metaverse. We are just having indications of it, building and building. So ensure you subscribe to my channel so that I'll give you updates as we 
enter into this full world of the metaverse. So the best stocks and crypto you can invest when it comes to the metaverse, I have already explained to you, like the Sandbox, the Central Land Mana, and Axios Infinity. So when it comes to stocks, you can invest in Facebook, Apple, Google, Microsoft, because they are the ones that are pouring a lot of money in the development of the metaverse. Also, you can invest in AMD and Nvidia because they provide the computers, the machine, the intelligence, the AI that we use to power this world of the metaverse. And if you want to go for ETF, that's what we call Meta ETF, that contain all these companies I've mentioned and more, if you want to buy an ETF for investing so that you will fully immerse yourself into this world and become the next millionaire in the metaverse. The metaverse has come to stay. It's already happening in the gaming industry. The future is for you to happen in other industries. So ensure that you subscribe to my channel now. Like this video and smash the subscribe button. And let's become the next avatars. Thank you. See you in my other videos. And if you enjoyed this video, I have a lot of content on NFT. And the video you are seeing here is on NFT. Ensure that you watch it in order to give you a full grasp of non fungible token and how we will use it in the metaverse. Thank you. Bye. Oh, wow.